African American men are much more likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer than other men. Yet sometimes their doctors don't tell them they need to be screened for this deadly cancer. In tonight's Western Washington Gets Real segment, Deborah Horn shows us what's happening to change that. In terms of your diagnosis, what was your reaction when you found out? Surprise. Definitely surprise. Floyd Gossett walks with a cane these days, a result of the fatigue he feels as he battles prostate cancer. His cancer might have been discovered a year earlier had a doctor not dissuaded him from getting screened. I'd asked for a PSA test a year before, but it wasn't my primary doctor. And he had given me the message that I didn't want you to go through an unnecessary procedure. So therefore, I took it for my face value and I let it go. Then he began having problems with incontinence. He told his primary care physician. And she said, Floyd, go take a blood test. The blood test is a prostate-specific antigen, or PSA test. The next day she called me and said, you need to go see a urologist as soon as possible. He would find out he had fourth stage prostate cancer. When he got the difficult diagnosis, Floyd Gossett came here for treatment at the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. And he was in for another shock, too. And I walked through the door and, uh, with, the, with, with the nurse, and she said, that's, that's going to be your physician over here. He was just coming into work. What did you think when you saw him? It was a different reaction to me. It felt safe. I am a urologic oncologist, which means I treat um, cancers of the urinary tract. The physician who made Floyd Gossett feel safe is Dr. Yao Niame, one of just a handful of black urologists across the country. He is sounding the alarm about the danger black men face from prostate cancer that is not diagnosed early. Black men in the United States have pretty consistently demonstrated a twofold or uh, twice uh, as likely uh, risk of dying from prostate cancer uh, compared to men of other races and ethnicities. Dr. Niame is the lead author of a just released Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center study. It advocates for black men to be screened for prostate cancer a full 10 years earlier than men of other races. Screening for black men at younger ages like 45 can reduce mortality by about 30 percent relative to a non-screened population. We happened upon Frederick Suazo and some friends. Do you ever think about your prostate? No ma'am. If he is typical, the prostate screening message for black men is not hitting its mark. How old are you? 53. 50, and you've never, no doctor has ever said to you, you should be tested to make sure you don't have prostate cancer? No. Right now, what we're working on is my fatigue. Floyd Gossett had surgery, but his cancer isn't entirely gone. He and Dr. Niame are discussing next steps, and the doctor enlisted this 71-year-old to help spread the message about early screening for prostate cancer. To let other African-American men know, go get the tests. It's a simple blood test. A simple test that could simply be a lifesaver. Something told me I needed to be checked. In Seattle, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. It is a good message and if Floyd Gossett's name is familiar to you, he is a first cousin of former King County Councilman Larry Gossett.